Uh, hi, this is Joe again with another review. For the sake of this video, which will be my 1,000th, 100th video on YouTube, I will review the 1976 classic, Network. Sorry, Faye Dunaway, Robert Don Duvall, and of course, Peter Finch, who was mad as hell and couldn't take it anymore. And also, William Holden is also, also sourced in this film. Of course, this movie... And it came out in 1976 as one of the two big movies that lost to a little film called Rocky at the 1977 Academy Awards. Of course, this film is, icon is, is in a way it's iconic, but, it but the iconic moment happens way too within the first hour or so of this movie when Peter Finch yells at Man of Cell, I'm not going to take it anymore. But I'm getting a little ahead of myself. This, this movie is based on a it was kind of like the, four, the fourth television network. It was a fictional network called U, UBS, United Broadcasting Services. So it's kind of like an independent thing, but it's kind of like what UPN was. Like 20 years later, you know, when we had the UPN and the WB network, which, but like 10 years later, combined for for the, uh, for the, for, which combined into the CW network uh, today. But, uh, it was like kind of like a, fic a fictional fourth network, and uh, which was struggling to make. And the worst thing was the t was the TV, uh, was the TV news uh, hour that they had, because they had old guys working there. I guess maybe because they were like too old or whatever, couldn't relate to the eighteen to thirty four year olds. So one of the anchormen was from Peter Finch, and when he was found out that he got fired, he didn't give it give a shit anymore. I said, oh, I'm, I'm being fine anyway, so who cares? So he threatens to kill himself on the air. When it's, when, when he's on his last broadcast, which will be in two weeks. From the time he said he's going to kill himself. So, when that word got around, the, the guy threatened to kill himself, wings all of a sudden went up on the show. And not only that, but the Peter Fincher's character decides to, when he was played by Howard he played a character named Howard Beale. Beale was cursing crazy on the air. Which of course would be an FCC violation for cursing on the air. Because was, this, was, this was also the only days of cable TV in 1976. So only, only way you hear cursing was maybe on, on HBO or, do, or the WHT. Which was the first couple of, prime, of um, premium channels in cable for a store in 1970. And so... He was saying bullshit. He was saying God damn it. He was saying all these all these curse words. Well, he didn't say the F word, but he said bullshit a lot and God damn a lot and, and hell and stuff. So he said all the way to pull him out now because of his cursing. But since he threatened to kill himself and threatened, which he never did by the way, uh, spoiler. But when before he got his own show, Howard Beale says, "I want you to go up." Go to your window, get up out of your chairs, go to your window, open it, stick your head out and yell, I am mad at the cell and I'm not going to take it anymore. Now some affiliates across the country decided to pull the news because of his cussing, you know? But with those who didn't pull his, uh, the news out, people were actually doing that all across the country. You sing in the house and window yelling, I am mad at the cell and I'm not going to take it anymore. And William Holden store the Goes to the window and opens it and finds out if anybody was actually doing that. And she found out they were and they were stunned of the response from this guy. So so Frank Donovan decides to give to create a show for him so he could do these commentaries and stuff. And that's what he did, become a big rings blockbuster. And then little by little, when he was blasting his uh, Network for for working with uh, the Arabs and stuff, you know, came into the Arabs. The head of the network spoke to to uh, Howard Beale and told him to cut out all that stuff out. And once he did cut out, he was convinced to cut out all the stuff about the Arab deals and, and things like that. He was took then his veins started to drop. And then everybody in the, who works in the station, from Robert Duvall's character, Faye Dunaway, and, and everyone else, wanted to 
of course, cancel the show because the, the ratings were dropping. We reached a peak of like almost a 50 share, and now it's down to maybe 20, a 20 share, which is a huge range drop in that time. And we'll count for now too, but, but, but then it was, whew, it was a huge deal, and said, let's get rid of this show, let's get rid of this guy. And then they convinced, uh, and the head of the network says, no, I like him now. Put him on the metal, keep him on the metal what? So Robert DeVos says, great, no matter how we're going to, we're going to stick, stick with this lousy show. Now, the, sh the show is, is taking in the means. And he says, oh, what are we going to do now? And Robert DeVos says, why don't we kill him on the air? And it, it was, you know, stunning, stunning to hear that. And he says, why don't we hire a couple of snipers and kill, or mobs, or mobs to, or a gunman from the mob and kill this guy. Which, for those of you who didn't see this, who never saw this movie, that's exactly what they did. I, I am not, I am not kidding. People talk about, you know, the famous incident with, with Gerardo Rivera, with, knowing with Al Capone's vaults, which is over 30 years ago now. Or, over, we have over 20, over 30 years now, so 31 years ago, when you guys nose broken by skinheads. This was on live TV, when they hired two guys, not one guy, but two guys, from different points of the studio, who pulled out the guns, and killed Peter Fisher's character live on the air. And there was, and that, and that's how, and he died right on the air. He, he got shot and killed, blood and gore on live television. And that's, and, and that's how they ended the show, because they, Decided to screw the head of the network with killing off Peter Fisher's character, and that was, that was shocking how, how they how they did that because naturally it was something you didn't expect because Robert Duvall threatened to kill him before uh, in the movie. Robert Duvall's character threatened to kill Peter Fisher early in the film because there was cursing and stuff, when to fire him and stuff, you know, or wanted him to kill himself in the air, which Peter Fisher never did. But they did it in this movie, and it was really shocking to see that stuff. And, and it was, as, a, as a viewer, it was really shocking to see to see it. And as a matter of fact, the reason why I'm going pretty fast, because I want to mention one thing as well, that Peter Fitch became the first actor who received a posthumous Oscar for his, as a supporting actor for, for his role in Network. Because I think it was like about a week before or two weeks before the Oscars, he died of a heart, he passed away of a heart attack. And that became a huge, you know, story because unfortunately he was not going to be able to be in the Oscars, obviously, because he just died like a week, like, like I said, a week or two weeks before. So they gave him, a, it was the first actor to die before he received an Oscar for his role. So his family or a family member had, had to uh, accept the award in his behalf. And of course, the only other time when that happened in Oscar history where somebody died and they rewarded him, his character with an actor, or with an Oscar, was Heath Ledger for The Dark Knight in uh, 2008, or for the 2009 Oscars. And it was the first, it was really the only time when an actor from a superhero movie won an Oscar and it has to be someone who died of a drug overdose. But it was, Really, Heath Ledger's fault. Really, they died because he, he did it to himself. But for Peter Finch, he didn't do it to himself. It just some, one of those things that happened. And you know, he won an Oscar for this role. I think it was really true. It, it was really an over the top, especially when he became successful. And he became you know, a man of self. I'm not going to take it anymore. I got this whole co following me. And it was really great. Well, so it was Faye Dunaway. He went home. All the acting was great. Of course, the other, other controversy, which I shouldn't get into before I show off this video, was William Holden's wife was only on screen for about maybe nine, not even six minutes, about five and a half minutes. Or five and a half, six minutes. She beat out Tanya Shire for Best Supporting Actress for, the, for this role. I and mean, she was only on screen for about maybe five and a half minutes. So, which is another, which is controversial in itself for that decision. But anybody who, so, so you can see the 
No one is needed today, but today's standards. Uh, but it's worth watching. So that's my review of the movie Network. Please click on the video, please rate it, please subscribe to my channel, and please follow this video on your Facebook pages. And check out all my reviews not only on my YouTube channel, but on RallyC.com, it's on WDY. RallyC.com is the home page to my reviewer, Christine Moore. And please check out all of his videos on this website as well. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.